Okay, hi, uh, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia, and this is the most difficult job I've ever uh, performed mitigation on. Um, so, I make videos for other radon mitigators. Those looking to get into radon mitigation, and if you're a homeowner, check out www.nrsb.org, that's National Radon Safety Board. Plug in your zip code, it'll put you in touch with a radon professional in your area. So, at a first glance on this home, it's a fake out. It, it looks like it's a uh, split level or split foyer and uh, built 30 or 40 years ago. No, wrong answer. This is a hundred year old farmhouse that's been added on to about five times. So after five years experience, about three hours of trying to figure out how to put this system in, I still got faked out. All sorts of variables. Um, so this is, you know, what you typically see. Uh, on, a, on a radon job, subslab depressurization. There were sump pumps, there were crawl spaces, multiple penetrations, high water levels. There's a spring in close proximity to this house. Just, I burn up a drill. Uh, everything that could go wrong kind of did, but in the end, perseverance, uh, multiple trips, and patience uh, prevailed. So, typical system. Uh, we even had to account for fireplaces and stuff. Um, one penetration, not enough. Second penetration, not enough. It, it's, it's, it's actually mud underneath this slab. Uh, so just rolled snake eyes on both of those. Exposed dirt, uh, encapsulated it and pulled from it, not enough. Pulled from the sump pit. That's actually, that was the biggest game changer of, that's pretty much what Remedy did. Um, but I worked so hard on this, I wanted to <laughs> take you on the complete journey. Um, so, I got faked out here, okay? Uh, there's a crawl space over there, but it's not simply through drilling through a center block wall. No, there's about five feet of slab and dirt that I just didn't account for and found out the hard way and so therefore had to go into a crawl space here that's under a porch go through there about a uh, 20 feet or so then come back into the actual crawl space so i'll show you how we did that and how we ultimately uh got the radon levels down on this entire home that like i said is chopped up um, you want one footprint when you're treating a house. You, you want it one and done. But that's just not the way it worked out, but we eventually got her uh, over the hump. Okay, so let's go check out those crawl spaces we pulled from. And it took about a week to do. And just pulling through multiple locations, but one fan. Here's, so this is the crawl space underneath the porch that we were lucky to have actually and yes there were snakes all right i did not see any live ones fortunately i saw lots of skins okay so here's where we came from the room there and then maintain the slope going. You see how this is think this thing's been built on and and uh, just divvied up. Then we just went on down there and entered a legit crawl space, we'll call it, underneath the uh, the kitchen and living area. Here's our patient customers. <laughs> this is the second take. <laughs> patient doggies. Alright. And now. Alright, and there's where we came from that end. And voila, we encapsulated all under here. And Hello, spider. So we hit a little bit of everything. 
nice job. All right, so just wanted to share that with everybody. It took about a week to do, and um, I'm, gonna make it, I'm making really a long story short because other people quoted it over the phone without coming to look at it. And, uh, you know, the, I guess the moral of the story is uh, patience, um, persistence, working with your customers, and just letting them know that uh, you'll, you'll stick with them uh, if, they, if they work with you. And radon customers are really, they're really good to work with. Um, I've never been stiffed by a radon customer because they're, they're serious about, you know, getting their homes remedied. Um, that's all I've got. So I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe picked up something. Um, take care. Have a good one.